Good afternoon. Once again, the afternoon air quality is a concern. The conditions are moderate and are expected to stay that way all night. If you live in Wisconsin, the haze is forecasted to last through the weekend. We'll be dealing with that smoke likely through the fall. Look at this new video from Northwest Canada where the ent where entire cities are being evacuated. A few hundred fires are burning in that area now. More than 1,000 are raging across the country. You can see some haze right now in this live look outside. Air quality is a top weather concern, and we can also expect some very hot days ahead. John Ziegler joins us with your weekend weather. It's been a hazy start today and it'll be a hazy afternoon, but we're starting to see changes here. So here's that noon look at the smoke. You see it's better as you go west, but starting to stay thick in Wisconsin. So we're almost pushing this a little bit east. So in the afternoon, Wisconsin is going to stay uh, more dense smoke. We're going to start clearing things out slowly by tonight. As we go into Saturday, I do think we'll take a break. We won't get rid of it completely, but then you see another plume coming in here. The next front brings or trails in some of the smoke into Sunday morning, so we might have to have this air quality alert uh, reissued. Wisconsin is going ahead and has theirs all the way till Monday, but I think the air quality is going to be hopefully lower end now. Ours goes until 11 o'clock tonight, 84 degrees in the Twin Cities, cooler up towards Duluth at 77. You can see the warmth starting to build here out west, 86 degrees, 85 and more ahead. So we're getting closer to those 90s. I think we hit the 90s on Saturday, 94, 88 on Sunday with that cold front that brings in smoke and then we start to rebound. But there's very low chances for rain here on the seven day. Today's the coolest day on the seven day by far. 94 in a hot Saturday. Find some water and enjoy the heat. All right, thanks, John. Get that free CARE 11 weather app. It'll help you plan ahead during this hot and hazy weekend. You can download it wherever you get your apps. We're officially less than a week away from the great Minnesota get together. The state fair kicks off next Thursday. We wanted to know how security will be working to keep you safe. For the first time, DNR conservation officers are helping patrol the fairgrounds. That's in addition to 170 police officers from departments across the state which is 40 more on duty officers than last year, a 30% increase in police presence. You can expect bag checks, metal detectors, more security cameras, and more police stationed around the fair's perimeter. I, I'll take as many officers as I can get out here because our top priority is providing safety and security for this. And this, this large scale event, that's a massive undertaking and it takes working with a lot of different partners. We've put together a state fair guide for you. Just text the word fair to 763-797-7215 and we'll text you back a link. In three hours, Ricky Cobb, this Ricky Cobb the second's family is expected to call on local law enforcement to take immediate action against the state troopers involved in Cobb's death. The family's calling them out for, in their words, not taking real immediate action against the officers responsible. Since Cobb's death, his family and activists have demanded that Governor Walls fire the officers and that Hennepin County attorney charge them. Right now, all three troopers are on administrative leave, which is standard policy, and the BCA is still investigating. After becoming the first marijuana dispensary in the state, Red Lake Nation announced they're rolling out a mobile marijuana dispensary. They say it's comparable to a food truck. Red Lake leaders tell us the mobile dispensary will debut September 2nd at the Tribal Casino in Thief River Falls. They're also expanding their dispensary hours to accommodate the approximately 300 customers that shop every day. Leaders tell us about 70% of their customers are driving several hours from the metro. Right now, St. Paul Public Schools is hosting a hiring event ahead of the new school year. They're looking to fill positions for special education, mental health practitioners, and school clerks. If you want to apply, the hiring event is at Como Park High School until 4 o'clock. Well, thanks so much for being with us this noon hour. We're back at 4 o'clock with more news.